Hi, I'm Barbara D. I'm out here at Guarantee RV in Junction City, Oregon. And today I would like to show you this little Jayco. This is a Jayco 212. It's a great unit for a couple of people and probably a little grandkid or two. Let's go around. It comes with dual tanks. It's a lightweight trailer. It can be towed by just about anything. Um, the exact weight I will share with you a little later. It is solar equipped, so if you wanted to put on a, a solar system, if you want to go up to maybe Crescent Lake or up to Chilquin or over to the coast and you're off the hook, not plugged in, then you can keep your batteries warm, keep them strong with this uh, solar plug and play. Pretty neat. It has great storage. Uh, like I said, this is a 21 foot trailer. It's not a long unit, but it does have dual axles. It's got some nice storage under here. So if you take a look in there, this is a big enough this is a big enough opening that you can get a uh, folding table in it. You can put some lawn chairs in there. You can put a little barbecue and other things that you're going to need for your trip. And that's of course a lockable compartment. It has this really nice electric awning. And what I like about this awning as an RVer, and I have RV'd for years and years and years, is the fact that it does have these outside speakers, so you can listen to your music. It has LED lighting, and most of all, it covers the door and all the windows on this side. So it allows you to kind of spread out and claim your space. Uh, aluminum rims, it has, it, they're running R14s on this, 75 R14s, so that's a standard uh, truck, uh, small truck tire. You have some outlets here. Um, you notice that right next to the door, I want to point it out right here, it does have a thermal package and what that means to you is you could run this thing up to the ski hill if you wanted to and spend a few days and not worry about anything freezing. And that solar is a, is a real benefit. A nice little grab handle. We're just going to walk around it real quick like this. It's a J-Flight SLX 212QBW. It's got a ladder on the back, so you can get up there. If you want to put a few things on, uh, on top of the rig, you could. But most of all, you'll be able to get up there and inspect your roof. Uh, LED lighting, a spare tire. These uh, Jayco's been building RVs for a number of years. They were the very first company that provided a sealed bottom travel trailer, or fifth wheel, back in the 80s. And uh, they've been staying strong. It's a very recognized name throughout the United States so and Canada and other parts of the world. So when you're traveling, uh, people will know, will recognize this brand name. It is uh, already pre-wired for cable TV and a satellite input. So they have a, a small dome. It used to be you put uh, satellite on the roof, solar on the roof, and now you do that just on a portable. It's kind of like our laptops. We don't have to be stuck to our desk. We can take them with us. Uh, nice hot water heater, a good sized hot water heater. I think that that's a six gallon unit. It's a 30 amp service, and what that means to you as an RVer is that the power sources in most RV parks are 30 amp service. So that means that the 30 amp service that this needs is gonna marry up perfectly with the outlet that you access at the RV park. It's got an outside shower, which is pretty neat. I think that if I can get this open, I'll show you what that means. It, it provides you a place to clean out a cooler. Oh, my key gonna work here, I hope it does. Uh, you can clean out the cooler, you can wash off the pup, uh, wash off your feet. does require you have the right key though, and apparently I don't. But behind here you're going to see a hand spigot and hot and cold running water. Again, I want to point out that this is a very small trailer with dual axles, and that helps you if you ever get in a situation where there's some crosswinds or people are passing you, maybe large vehicles. It just makes a nice, safe journey for you and the trailer. It's equipped with a holding tank flushing system. So a lot of these features that I'm pointing out are often seen in larger, more expensive units. This is an introduct introductory trailer. So they've really added a lot of nice features for you as the end user. Just make it easy so when you come away from that camping trip, you're like, wow, I had a good time. Everything went really well. Right here, we have the black and the gray water uh, holding tanks. This is where you would drain your shower tank or and the toilet tank. And again, Jayco being the company that they are, have provided you what's called a macerator. So I'm gonna put it in real easy terms. A macerator is basically a garbage disposal that will pump out the debris that is in your black tank. And that is in fact your sewage tank. 
So that's nice to know. Everything is taken care of. You get a nice clean sweep when you get out and get done with your camping trip. This is the other side of that pasture that I showed you. And I want to take a quick look right back here. What we're looking at here is that 21 2 foot trailer uh, with a lot of accessories, LED lighting. And now I want to show you what's on the other side of this door. One of the things right off the top that I'm going to point out is as an RVer, you're parked, you're walking up to your vehicle, you want to get past this door. And I see other companies putting a, a shock here or up on the top, which, which closes it. It leaves it in this position. So now you have to walk around the door. So thankfully, jayco has been building RVs long enough to know that that is an inconvenience for the RVer. A grab handle. A lot of times you're going to have something in your hand. You're going to have your fishing rod. You're going to have your purse. You're going to have your towels or other things. So you've got something to hang on to and come on in. What you're going to see down here is a bow floor. So this is a type of flooring that was designed to be slip resistant, stain resistant, mold and mildew resistant, and cold crack resistant. So this floor is going to last a very long time and be in great shape. 10 years from now and I recommend that when people are buying an RV look at that five to ten year window that's when you're gonna get the most bang for your buck on on the money that you're gonna put out for it and this has a terrific price point you're looking at a, a payment that's far under two hundred dollars I want to look at the bed here a nice comforter a nice mattress something that has some inner coil springs it's comfortable there's storage underneath this bed a lot of storage that you can access from inside or outside. I like the fact that they uh, we've gotten rid of the little mini blinds. So for years they had metal mini blinds that made a lot of noise. And in this case what they've done is they've provided you this accordion shade. So you can have your privacy and the windows are tinted so and you'd only be using this in the evening. People can't really see in the RV during the day. An outlet next to the bed, independent lighting for Mr. and Mrs., and a nice closet on each side. And as silly as it sounds, I'm going to open this other closet door. As silly as it sounds, it's nice to just, oh, they have shelving in here, so that's awesome. So there's a little bit of place to, to uh, put your folded clothes. And if, if Quinn walks around there real quick, you'll see that it just has a standard bar. So, uh, you know, like a closet rod. So you can use the hangers that you have from home and not try and find something that might find a, a wire hanger. I don't have any wire hangers anymore. <laughs> They're all plastic. So let's take a look at the bathroom. It's a quaint little bathroom, but it's a private bathroom. So you've got a place to store some toilet paper or some towels. It does have a GFI outlet, a place for a hand towel. It's got a nice tub and shower, again, that you've got this skylight up above, and that allows someone that's of, you know, of normal height, if they're six foot or a little bit more, they're still going to be able to take a comfortable shower in there. And it's vented and air conditioned and, of course, heated. And the way that you operate all of that equipment is right here, just like a residential setup. You set it on low or high or on automatic, and it'll maintain the temperature throughout the RV. As we go back this way, I want you to take a peek at this kitchen because it's a nice little kitchen. It has a double sink. It has the uh, three burner range top, a 21 inch oven and a microwave. And then it's got a couple of drawers over there and a cabinet for your pots and pans and the things that you're gonna wanna take with you. More storage on the top here for your for dishes and other things, bowls, things that you're gonna use to prepare a meal. And they're nice, nice cabinets. It's, it's wood. It's not something that's got a plastic cover on it. It's the real McCoy. We have an entertainment center here. It, it, we provide a television. Again, I want to show you how nice it is to pull this blind down when it's hot. And this is also a window that opens for you so you can get, and you can see right there the difference in the tinting. So as the sun comes in, it's being reflected. If you want some air through here, just some natural breeze, that's available to you too. This is going to fold down into a jackknife sofa. So what that means is if it's grandma and grandpa or mom and dad and a couple of little guys, there's still a place to lie down. There is some storage underneath this, not a lot, but some. 
It's just, it, it's nice to keep a couch in a small rig. And so many times that is forgotten from the manufacturer. They think that you're going to take the table out of the dinette and that's going to suffice for your couch. Just plain and simple. It's nice to be able to sit down here and relax. And visit with someone that might be sitting at the table or talk to someone that's lying down in bed. But you do have a dedicated table and that's nice. So if someone wants to sit down and have a sandwich, uh, do a puzzle, make plans for where we're going next, then you aren't forfeiting that. And this will make down into bed. You take this table and set it down here. These cushions come together and voila, one more place for a little guy to sleep. Also storage under here. And storage in an RV is important. Most people are towing with a truck. Many people have a canopy on the bed of their truck, so they have a lot of storage. But it's always nice to have a little spot to stick some paper towels, some extra toilet paper, some uh, beach, uh, beach stuff, you know, like your beach towels and just little things like that that take up a lot of space. It has a, it has a nice roof system on it. It has a trust roof. So as an RVer, you want to make sure that the rain and the snow and the weather uh, is moved off at the top of the roof, that you don't have a flat roof. And that's, that's something that Jayco has known for a very long time, and it's a standard in all of their units. I like the countertop. It's, just, it's, it's light, it's clean, it's small, it's affordable, and it's something that will last you a nice 7 to 10, 15, 20 years if you take care of it. So come on out to Guarantee RV. I'm Barbara D. And uh, my telephone number is 541-521-4232. Give me a call. Ask me a couple of questions. I'd love to meet you. Thank you.